So this is a fun exercise. It involves um, having a sound and then syncing up these little mouths so that it looks like our, our little character is talking. Um, these mouths that are called phonemes, you'll see that they have the little registration point pretty much in the center of each of them so that when we swap them out, they're going to be in the same position, more or less. That's how we're going to do this. And we've got nine mouths here. We've got a little duplicate of the closed mouth. And these two are very similar. All this, this one is called an E, and this one is called a G. Um, they look very similar. Um, T, N, U, U, another U, O, closed mouth, of course, and S. So, um, what we're going to do is create another layer, and this layer is going to be where we put our sound, or our speech. And I have one in the library. It's just a silly sound. It goes like this. Ooh, I like that. And all I need to do is select that cell and drag the sound out. And I want to give this enough time for the speech so I'm going to insert more frames, and I can see that this sound starts and ends on about 50 frames. So I'm actually going to move this over a little bit um, so that it doesn't start right away, that there's a little pause. Uh, it feels very unnatural when animation starts immediately. So uh, let's go back to our head, and we definitely want the head to stay on the stage for the whole time. And we want our mouths to be on the stage at the same time, but they all, there's only going to be one at a time. So let's get rid of, we're going to start with a closed mouth, and I'm going to move that into position. And what we're going to do is, as the sound changes, we're going to swap the mouths for different mouths. So, by putting in an F6. So why am I putting a keyframe there? Well, that's where my sound starts. But it's kind of hard to see what's going on with my sound. And it's also not going to be easy to tell if I scrub over where I am, unless this is a streaming sound, which it is. Usually by default when it comes in, it's an event. But in this case, it was a streaming sound. So that's how we can scrub. Now one other thing about the sound layer is I like to click on it Click, right click on it and change the properties of the layer so that it is 300%. And that way I can see the waveform better. So, right now, Ooh, I like that. Seems more like he's just sitting there listening. But what we're going to do is go through and at the appropriate times, like with the sound wave, I'm going to swap out the mouth for a different mouth. So I'm going to go for ooh. Ooh, or maybe I should do the, let's try the other ooh. Ah, that looks more like an O, doesn't it? So let's, let's stick with our ooh. So he goes, ooh. And even though his voice is changing, his mouth doesn't change until he closes it. And that's where we put our next F6. And I'm going to swap it out again for the closed mouth. That's an easy one. And then I'm going to come along. That's where he starts to say I. So I'm going to put my F6 in there. And choose my closed mouth. Swap it for the ah. That's a little bit much. That looks like maybe we can use that for the, that'll be the L. Let's see. Uh, tough choice. We don't have all the mouth positions. Ah. So if you feel your own mouth going, ah, it's kind of open. More like this. All right, let's go with uh, the O. 
<laughs> it's gonna look strange. All right, let's go with that. I right there he's doing the ye. <laughs> so then we'll switch to the one of those G or E sounds. I like. See, I added an extra frame there accidentally. Where was that one with the, with the tongue? I love. <laughs> so it's a little tedious. And there's actually software, if you were doing this for like a feature movie, that will measure the sounds and um, add them appropriately to the sound. So I like, we have to get another open mouth. Let's see how it's looking so far. Ooh, I like that. So we're getting there. I think he should close his mouth briefly right there. And you get the idea, even if I don't do this perfectly. I have to get another. He doesn't stay closed for long. We need something like a TH. F6. Swap. Actually, let's leave this there. Let's go back here. Change this to that one. And we'll put the right at the t. He closes his mouth again. So let's see how that goes. Closed mouth, swap for closed. All right. So, here's what we've got, and we don't want that, so shift F5, otherwise we're going to have to mouths floating out in space. There we go. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like it too. 